A name may be unknown to the masses, Brian Eno is an influential person in the landscape of music. His most known works are the Windows 95 startup jingle and An Ending Ascent, a song many people would know from its use in modern cinema. Beyond these peaks, he has been a big influence on electronic music and the evolution of ambient, experimenting with minimalism and theory before execution approach to composition. Active since the 70s with roots in art rock, Eno has built up a large body of work revolving around many collaborations with big names in music. The Plateaus of Mirror is the second of four in the Ambient series and the first to crack open for me. The power and involvement of the subconscious in this form of music is essential as proven by the magic of shuffle or random mode. Preoccupied by mundane chores, the music in the background soothed me into a calmer state of being. As the songs changed, my mind was focused on other things and my awareness of what was playing lowered, but its effect still intact. Moments like these are why I always have music playing. Your undivided attention can get in the way. With the subconscious taking it in for a few minutes rolled by, I notice how tranquil and calming the atmosphere is. Of course, I then put the record on and soaked up its brilliance, now understanding its purpose. And that is to soothe, relax, and unwind the listener with soft, innocent sounds that disappear into themselves. Pianist Harold Budd improvises as Zeno controls the atmosphere through reverbs and additional instrumentation. The result is a slow, ambiguous listen that can sound either somber or carefree, depending on how you interpret the mysterious sounds that accompany the piano. It's elusive, evocative of the imagination like a passing dream or mirage. Its ambience is both in substance and design. The reverbs shroud each moment in its own passing, and the notes played are directing the moods without hooks, melodies, or anything condensed or simplified. At the same time, they are not elaborate or complex, just a passing collection of notes that drift us by, forming feelings and moods without a distinguishable melody or memorable moment. I find myself in awe of their collaborative genius. I like the record's cover a lot. It resembles a map without being one. It's suggested of the equivocal sound held behind where things are open to interpretation but still powerful and vivid. To enjoy this record now is a treat, but this and many others of Eno's are considered to be true artistic endeavours that paved the way for what is now a familiarity in soundtracks, video game music, and within the ambient genre. Hearing this at the start of the 80s must have really been something. For me, it's another mood-inducing remedy to put on the shelf, left there to await the moment it's called upon. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to see some more of my music blogs, go check the website out. Every page is over a thousand articles sorted by artist, year, genre and more. Just hit Control F and have a search for something that interests you. You can find a link to the blog in the description box down below, or you'll also find links to my other YouTube channels. Check them out if you are curious. Thanks again for watching and be sure to subscribe to catch the next upload.